Ron. Hi everyone, I am here with a uh, Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. I gotta show you guys real quick my new phone case. Look at this phone case. Layla, check this out. Isn't that pretty? And it's aqua and pink. My favorite color is pink. It's got water in it and glittery hearts. I thought it was so cute. I had to show that to you. I've already got Facebook downloaded on it. I got Twitter downloaded on it. And I got Instagram downloaded on it. And I got me a screensaver, which I got as. Something I love. Strawberries. It's so pretty. This thing's always updating, I don't know why. I just got this phone um, a couple days ago. But um, we were surprised yesterday. Don't show yet. We were surprised yesterday. My niece called from her boyfriend's cell phone. I didn't know the number. She's like, we're almost to your house. And I'm like, what's going on? Because like, that never happens all of a sudden. She's like, we got you something. Close the curtain and close your eyes. When she walked in, she came in and put this little surprise in my hands in a box. A little baby boy hamster. Take a deer. Chinese dwarf hamster. Take a we named him Tig, because Jimmy has one, he, he named Twig, which is a girl, and we named him Tig. <laughs> he's, he's a baby. He's just a baby. He's, he keeps biting me. He's chewing on everything. He's in the chewing phase. He don't bite hard enough to draw blood, but he bites hard enough to know, ow, it hurts. He has not bit Sherm once. He just sits there in Sherm's hands. But if I hold him, he wants to bite and escape. I think he only likes boys. Next month, I'm going to get him some little treats and stuff. Well, they got they got us a big thing of bedding. They got us a cage. They got us treats and food. But I'm going to get him some things to chew on and stuff uh, next month. He loves sunflower seeds. I gave me her old cage. It's got like a spaceship on the top of it. But we, that's a surprise we told you about. Was, we was thinking about getting one here a while back, and this one was surprised with. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin our Bible reading. So that's our psalm now. Tig. I gave him a little Christmas stocking for Christmas too, like those little ones, and write Tig on it with a glitter pen. And I'll stick him in it Tiggy's picture too. But that'll go on my Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> I will. I think it'll be adorable. We always took pictures of a dotty. I've already got pictures and videos of a Tig already. And he's only two days old now. He's got a little house in his cage and a wheel to spin on, tunnels and a spaceship. I put cotton balls in there because they said um, you're supposed to put tissues or cotton balls or something in there with your scent on it to get him used to it. And yeah, put that in there for him. Show it to him. I, we had this, we want to put in there for him to crawl in. This is the little bear, Hubert, remember? Hey, Hubert! We thought he'd like to crawl on that. I'm going to get him a little swing and a new cage, I think. When I can afford all this stuff, not all at once, because it's really expensive. But I definitely want to get him some stuff to chew on. Okay, so let's get started now. I'm just really excited and wanted to show you our son. Okay. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 8 through 16. Um, Psalm 48. And, which is a song of Korah, Sons of Korah, and Proverbs chapter 22, verses 17, 18, and 19. Oh, 
you decide on a place that looks the best for you that you want to put it. You can put it up in the spaceship, or you can just put it put it down there in the bottom somewhere so we can see it. Take it all somewhere. Like back here by that cotton ball or something. Back here? No, the other side. Yeah, yeah, back, yeah back there. Or wherever you want. Sure some love. He said, I don't want a hamster. This is all he's talked about and all he's been doing ever since we got him. He's been talking to him and holding him and playing with him. Even if I caused you sorrow by my letter, Paul says, I do not regret it. Though I did regret it, I see that my letter hurt you, but only for a little while. Just like with children, if they get in trouble for something they don't, they'll be upset and mad or sad for a little while, but then they'll get over it and be all happy and love you again, you know. Yet now I am happy, not because you were made sorry, but because your sorrow led you to repentance. For you became sorrowful as God intended, and so were not harmed in any way by us. Godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death. See what the godly sorrow has produced in you, what earnestness, what eagerness to clear yourselves, what indignation, what alarm, what longing, what concern, what readiness to see justice done. At every point you have proved yourselves to be innocent in this matter. So even though I wrote to you, it was neither on account of the one who did the wrong, nor on account of the injured party, but rather that before God you could see for yourselves how devoted to us you are. By all this we are encouraged. In addition to our own encouragement, we are especially delighted to see how happy Titus was because his spirit has been refreshed by all of you. I have boasted to him about you and you have not embarrassed me. But just as everything we said to you was true, so our boasting about you to Titus has proved to be true as well. And his affection for you is all the greater when he remembers that you were all obedient, receiving him with fear and trembling, I am glad I can have complete confidence in you. Has he checked out yet? Uh, has he checked it out yet? Get in there? Oh, yeah. I see. You didn't lay it down, did you? Oh, I would have laid it down so you could crawl in. He's, he's crawling that. He's wanting to look. Coming down now that he loves that tongue. Yeah, I found him asleep in it yesterday. He put some of his uh, bedding up there and was asleep in the bottom of it. Like, where is he? He couldn't have escaped. Found him in the tunnel. He loves that tunnel. Getting a headache. First day it hasn't rained in a while, and I'm getting a headache. Psalm 48, a song, a psalm of the sons of Korah. Not a psalm of David, but still a beautiful song. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful is its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. Like the heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them. Pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish scattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, 
we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion, go around her, count her towers, consider well her ramparts, view her citadels, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. All right, and that was Psalm 48. And now, lastly, for our Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 22, verses 17, 18, and 19. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach, for it is pleasing when you teach them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips so that your trust may be in the Lord I teach you today, even you. All right, guys. Is he over there yet? Still not going away. That was our Bible reading for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed seeing Tig. Tig. T-I-G. Tig. Like I said, I named him Matt to, we named him Matt to go with Jimmy's dwarf hamster. He's got a Russian dwarf hamster. Uh, they told him that this came from Petland. They told him that this one is a Chinese dwarf hamster. I don't know what the difference is. But um, Jimmy's, he's got a girl and her name is Twig. T-W-I-G. I keep accidentally calling Tig Twig. I'm not used to, <laughs> I'm not used to it yet. Okay, let's go through the prayer requests. First off, please pray for Tig. I know you're thinking, pray for a hamster. Well, he's still one of God's creatures, and I think he's a little, you know, scared, homesick, lonely. I know at Petland, they said at Petland, they're shoved in a small uh, cage like this, in a small, like, box with, like, 50 of them or more just running around together. So I don't know if they're happy to get their own little home and have all the stuff to play with and do, or they miss the other ones, you know. That's why we want to be sure and take him out and handle him every day and play with him so he gets attention. Thought about getting two before, but Jimmy did that and they said these are all males. Well, Jimmy knows how to check now, I guess, but they told Jimmy they were both males and his ended up having four babies, so. Twig was a girl. So they don't know at Petland, so don't trust them there. Jimmy knows, though. He knows how to tell the difference now. And he said Tig was a boy. But I just hope he likes it here. Um, please pray for Sherman Crabtree, Cindy and Jim Welsh, Rhonda Karshner, Abby Myers and Matthew Simpson, Jimmy Myers, Dora Carper, Layla and her son Emil, Melody and Eric Stanley, Michelle Watkins and Bella, um, Tabitha Clary, Randy Post, Jody Mortar. Today's Dad's birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Uh, Judy Thompson, Elizabeth Jeffries, Ray Dunlap, Bridget Boggs and family, Henry Reffitt, April Thacker and family, Norman Karshner, Garnet Boyer, and Jim Mitchell. Alright guys, that was everything for today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. We'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.